and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Arc Light Dredge. That's right, we're bringing back Dredge um, from you know the previous formats. This has just been a really fun deck to play, so we're gonna uh, try it out here after rotation. Let's see what we got. As you can tell, we didn't really have very many cards uh, rotate out. Um, we had, like, Opt was going to be the card that was going to rotate out that we were really worried about, but Opt got reprinted. And so that, you know, helps the deck out because we need, like, the one mana spells to be able to get back Arc White Phoenix. So, like, losing Opt was going to be a real big blow to the deck. But it was reprinted, so we're good to go there. And then also, we have this new card, Merfolk Secret Keeper, which, if this was just, like, Wall of Lost Thoughts, which was just two mana as an 0-4 target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard... I wouldn't be interested in playing that card whatsoever. But I like Merfolk Seeker Keeper here because the Venture Deeper, because, um, you know, it's split in half, and the Venture Deeper is a sorcery, so it does count for Arclight Phoenix. So we do have another one-mana spell in here to help us um, trigger Arclight Phoenix because, of course, we want three um, spells to be able to get that back. So to, to kind of back up a little bit here, I guess I kind of jump the gun a little bit but it we are a self mill deck that's what the word dredge refers to it's a keyword uh in magic from the original R ravnica block that's that um rewards you for self milling and so that's what our deck is going to be doing so we're trying to mill ourselves to try to put as many narc amoebas arc light phoenixes and creeping chills into our graveyard from our library our main engine card and probably the most important card for us to have in our opening hand is Drown Secrets. So each time that we play these blue spells, uh, these are just basically all blue spells in our hand, each time we play one, uh, we get to mill two cards. And of course, that just adds up over time. And so it's really important to have Drown Secrets. It makes um, our deck a whole lot better whenever we have this card. So that's that's the one that we're going to be looking for, mostly there. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what our deck's trying to do. We're trying to self-mill. You know, trigger some creeping chills to make them lose life, us gain life, but get a lot of phoenixes in the graveyard, bring them back quickly, and it just get the uh, three two flyers in the air. Hey, Rick Bloodaxe, thank you so much there, X. I appreciate that sub. All right, so that's what our deck's all about. Uh, not too fancy. We're just gonna be milling. What what we're kind of worried about here is a lot of people are playing Ashiok these days. Um, with Golos, Field of the Dead being the most popular deck. And so um, it's pretty rough facing Ashiok. So we're going to hopefully not face Ashiok. Hey, Radical Guru. All right, that was our third sub of the day. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just play a league um, while we try out the deck here for the first time with this new format. And so we're going to play until we win five or lose two, whichever happens first. Okay. I mean, this is definitely a keep because we have Drowned Secrets in hand. Kind of thinking, like, how we're going to with these. So we had to have three or more other islands for these to enter untapped. So these are probably going to be entering tapped for us. Um, I think we could still lead with Temple. If we go Temple, then Steam Vents. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's a terrible spot to see Creeping Chill. Because we don't want to draw Creeping Chill, but we also want to mill it over. And so that's, that's not easy to mill over when it's the bottom card on our library. And un unfortunately, these Temples do not, um, do not count towards Islands for the Mystic Sanctuary. Nice. Good good there, Rangers. The Celestia Adventures had a good weekend. It's good to hear. Uh, hmm. I guess we're going to need to get this blocker out here. I get a couple other blockers as well. Kind of want to just keep the island. 
yeah. So we put two one mana cards in the graveyard over there. Hey, Blue Gen. Is this a bargain deck? No. No, we're just self milling with. Um, We're self-milling with uh, Drown Secrets here and trying to get Arclight Phoenixes into play. Awesome, Rockle Guru. Glad to hear that it went well. 5-2. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that, that uh, you made some misplays there and that your two losses, but 5-2 is really good. Uh, no, I, I am not T-Fetter. No. <laughs> Uh, that creature is pretty good. I guess I should have blocked Knight. Unfortunately, Mission Briefing is, like, one of the best cards I could find. Mill that over. So no Phoenix. No Birdies. You have to be invited, t Fetter, or you have to qualify for it. I, I have not been invited or qualified for anything. You don't get to just choose if you want to or not. You can't just play in a Mythic Championship if you want to. This doesn't actually draw any cards, which is which is really the the one problem with it. Like we can't just like play it to help cycle and try to draw into other spells. I guess I just need to though. No, those are good cards. Still no. There's a chill. Okay, good. Kind of need a chill to stay alive. So we've seen zero Phoenix. We have to we have to draw a card draw spell. Like here, you know, we have to draw you know, an opt, a discovery, a mission briefing, um, a radical idea. We haven't seen any radical ideas. So we have to draw one of those cards. Things have trampled. It's just like not even worth blocking. For one point of damage. Like honestly, we have we have a decent shot if we if we draw a card draw spell here. We could there's a good chance that we could kill our opponent this next turn, honestly. If we draw an opt, a discovery, a radical idea, or a mission briefing. Okay. Okay, so that's going to cost two mana. So we can put back Mission Briefing. Now, the, these first two, I do have to target my opponent. Because obviously I can't... I got to keep the Mission Briefing there. 
So we, we got to hit a lot of Arc Light Phoenixes now. Okay, well we did we did not hit a lot of Arc Light Phoenixes. We need a, <clears throat> a lot of Phoenixes and chills. Are you kidding me? Uh, down to 17 cards and didn't hit a single Phoenix. So they're they're all in the bottom 15 cards. We have 16 left and we put that there. <laughs> so all four Phoenixes are down in the bottom part of our library. Uh, hey, Matu. So all four Phoenix down in the bottom 15. All right, I think I want these on summons. Those four fours just kill pretty. Those yeah, those four four flyers just hit really hard. Um, I could. I don't really want to play Jace, but if they have Ashiok, I'm gonna need Jace. So that's that's kind of tough. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind playing like Sahili to make one ones. I basically don't hate our chances. Except for if they have Ashiok, it's going to be a huge problem. So I guess I have to keep Jason for that. Yeah, it's true. Dispute can counter Ashiok very easily. But that's kind of all it's doing. I don't know if I'm keeping it up to counter other things. I mean, our first hand was was really good. We just never hit phoenixes, which obviously with this deck you got to hit phoenixes. Um, this hand is not good at all. I just have lands. Uh, my first, like I was talking about, like the game one hand. Whenever I say that before, my my game my seven card hand here did have. It had Drown Secrets, which that's hard to mulligan, but the rest of the hand was so bad that I couldn't really keep. But it's, it's really hard to mulligan a hand with Drown Secrets because it's too important. Looking for Drown Secrets. This is really, really bad. Honestly, maybe I should just keep that on, on top so I can just try to hard cast it. Because it's really bad to have these things down here. You don't get to shuffle the, the deck at all. Oh my gosh, it's just all Creeping Chills and Phoenixes on top now. You know, like, if I was milling them over, that would be nice. But we're not milling them over. Oh my gosh. Alright, I, I have to say that I, I'm, not, I'm not very impressed by having all these temples and mystic sanctuaries, though. 
There's kind of too many tap lands. Maybe Mystic Sanctuary is like a two of, not a four of. This is kind of unbelievable. The top like last time all all the phoenixes were in the bottom 15 cards. This time we've had we have three phoenixes and two chills right at the very top of the deck. Fable Passage is also a tap land early, though, but... So yeah, I don't, I don't know about it. It's, you know, again, it's also a tap land early. Yeah, so last time all five Phoenix were all in the bottom 15, this time they're all in the top 15. Which normally you would like them all in the top 15. That'd be a good thing. How do they have so many Spawn of Mayhems in their deck? Okay, so that game two is not what we want to be happening, you know, that five card hand. The game one is exactly what we want our game to look like. Like the game one, our deck was doing exactly what we want. We just, you know, didn't have any Phoenixes until the very bottom. Like they were, like we never saw Phoenix and we went through 45 cards. That's exactly what, what we want is what happened in the game one. And unfortunately, um, Oh, bring up Deckmaster? Thanks. I forgot to do that. Unfortunately... Their absolute best threat against me is Spawn of Mayhem. Especially because of, you know, because the Trample. And they had five Spawn of Mayhems in the two games. I don't think that was necessarily a bad matchup, though. Um, no, I don't think that Field of the Dead are, is going to get banned at all. Um, I mean, it's... I think just need to give it time. Yeah, it's it's really good. Like, Field of the Dead's really good. Um, and it's, you know, it's dominating right now. But give it some time. You know, if it's it's one week. You know, if it's like this in a month, you know, then we can start talking, but it's just way too early for band talk.
I'm playing a league right now, player. The first week of, of M20, uh, Mono Red was everywhere. Mono Red dominated the first tournament and was just tons of slots in the top eight. If you look at like the, you know, like that was the first one. And, and then, you know, people discovered, you know, later on, you know, the other decks that started doing really well, um, including Field of the Dead. And, you know, after, you know, six weeks, nobody was really playing Mono Red very much at all. But yeah, this is an this is an incredibly slow format. Which is good. Which is good for Golos. Yeah, sorry, I, I took a little break in my sentence there um, as I was determining whether or not to just play this, this front part of Se Merfolk Seeker Keeper or keep it in hand, which I think it's better to keep in hand as a as a spell. Like we can cast three spells in a turn kind of thing. Yeah, I, I want a land drop. Hey, WQ. <laughs> Narc and Miba getting scorned. So, obviously, we want to find Drowned Secrets. I'm assuming this gets bedeviled. I wish these were surveil lands, not scry lands. Huh. Well, I'll keep that. We could just go venture deeper, venture deeper, venture deeper. See how many phoenixes we hit. We'll remake the multiverse in my image. Let your weak minds crumble. Oh, no, no! Three drown secrets? Uh. I should have cast opt first. We only hit one Phoenix. So yeah, we did we hit zero Phoenixes while doing that is what I mean. It's unfortunate. That almost hurt. I wanted to save Opt for the next turn in case, you know, like they kill Phoenix. I wanted to be able to try to to refill. All right, I should keep all the islands in case of Mystic Sanctuary. No weakness I cannot exploit. Yeah, I, I guess I should have played this Seeker Keeper, but I want to, you know, like saving those for... 
make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Saying those for drown secrets, but <clears throat> all right, what do we got? Explosions are more fun. That's a good hit. Those are not good. Come on, another Phoenix. No Phoenix. I should keep the Jace on top. Yeah, I'm I'm sure there are good aggro decks in the meta. I don't I don't know exactly what, but I'm I'm sure there are good aggro decks out there. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, Gruel, Mono Black. Uh, I mean, I, I still like Rakdos aggro. I think Rakdos is underrated. I have other schemes to attend. Witness a moment. Yeah, you know, like, I played a Rakdos aggro deck a few days ago and did really well with it. We really could have used. We really could have used a second Phoenix in our top half of our deck. Counter that other Nicol Bolas. All right, so my my opponent's definitely going to be playing. Like this is definitely an Ashiok deck. What my what my opponent's going to be doing. I'll play these Sahelis. So self milling is like I I do not think self milling is going to work against our opponent. It could work. We'll see. Um, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't really have a theme for today. Gaming Andy, you're playing, playing new brews and try, trying out new decks here. Basically. I mean, I don't know if Esper Hero is a new deck too much. And the, the Sultai control is I just changed the Sultai midrange and kind of made it more controlling and just wanted to relabel it. Yeah, we're just just playing different interesting decks today. All right, we got our best card. Ground secrets. Hey narcolepsy. Good afternoon. Mosh here with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Mosh here. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. Yep. Playing Ashiok. <clears throat> No surprise there. 
And so, <clears throat> we're going to see if we can out-mill our opponent. Who's the mill deck now? <laughs> so we're not self-milling anymore. We're going to be trying to mill out our opponent. Because this card makes self-milling really difficult. We did good in it. We we uh, won seven games in the win every card event, so we went seven and and two. So it's a good showing. Yeah, we're mono blue mill. Oh, it's waiting on me. Oh, how's it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Waiting on me. So no red sources milled over there. All right, no Jaces. No, uh. three red sources gone. Ooh, we drew another red source. Well, that's good. Yeah, if we're on the self-mill plan, it's really hard to beat Ashiok and on Mordigo. My opponent's deck is very good against mine, so I have to... Oh gosh, I forgot how... It's really hard to beat Narset with this deck also, with the whole... Because we try to draw lots of cards. Narset's also just a really hard card to beat. My opponent has just tons of good cards against me. So that's why we're, we're switching it up and turning it in, turning into a mill deck. No, I don't, I don't really need a minus Sahili for two damage. I don't. We're not going to win on damage, so damage doesn't matter. I would, I'd rather be able to save that if, like, maybe we need to do that to help finish off a Planeswalker or something. But damage doesn't doesn't matter here. It is Nova Flux. Yes, it is. Yep. You can tell that because so my opponent has. A mark here shows that they've won a game. That's what that means. I have not won a game. Isn't there like one other Ashiok? No, there's two other Ashioks. We don't have to worry about my opponent playing spells on my turn. Drown Secrets is just an amazing draw. Three on more egos. <laughs> I lost my appetite. Good news is they're down they're down to twenty four cards now to try to kill me. Gotten rid of three Chandras. Three on more egos. Good news is my hand is very good.
Hmm. They put the Chandra over there? That's odd. Because that, that just helps me. That just mills a card over. Why would you not just keep it on top? Like, that just lowers their library, which is exactly what I want. So, four, eight. Yeah, that was going to be eight cards of just going mission briefing, mission briefing. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Andy. This, <clears throat> so we got, we got like pretty fortunate there with that game, being on the play, you know, getting drowned secrets in play and our planeswalkers. Like our hand was awesome. Like we, I hope that we, you know, play the exact same cards, but overall this could be a really tough game to win. Beating uh, Narset. Ah, this Mystic Sanctuary, you are killing me. Beating Narset and Ashiok and Unward Ego. All right, see you, QQ. Darn. They finally took my best card. Hmm. These sanctuaries, you're killing me. I'd love to play Drown Secrets here, but I need to hold up Mystical Dispute. Alright, I, I do not like this card. I mean, I think it could be like a two of. I, I don't like how many of this card we have. It's too many tap lands. They definitely have to just be sitting over there with Planeswalker removal. I'd rather them kill Ashiok than kill Jace. I'm not too attached to Ashiok. Yeah, that was a great mill. Chandra and Narset. Get more of those Planeswalkers. All right. Should be Angrass Rampage here. No surprise there. Hmm.
Hey, Nev. Or Nez. Uh, I have okay, yeah, uh, team. I have no no donation decks whatsoever scheduled at all anywhere. Um, I have a couple that I that I'm working on to do, but they don't have a, a specific day. So basically, whenever whenever you want, um, every slot is open for donation decks. Whenever you want. This will come in handy. Still tapped. Like, I don't even know if it's bad for... Like, I don't even know if Ashiok's bad for me. With ha You know, I have Jason play... I wonder if I was supposed to just attack them. Wow, them not having removal for Jace, just not having anything is really nice for me. All right, how many Phoenixes are gone? One other Phoenix. I'll play Sahili first. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. I can't imagine we're losing this from here. They just must have just a terrible hand. They must have drawn really bad. Nothing I care about there, Mictor. All right, one and one. So we saw like that's that's our that's our plan against the control decks because we don't have enough threats to um, we, like we don't have enough threats uh, to really um, kill our opponent after especially after sideboarding when they have like those cards like on Mordigo and um, and Ashiok and all that kind of stuff. So our, our plan is just to turn into a a an actual mill deck there. All right, so again, Drowned Secrets is our most important card. We got two of them. We need another land, but we got Opt. There's a land. All right. Now let's hopefully draw more lands. Hopefully draw more lands here. Yeah, we won. Yep. We milled out our opponent. <laughs> they milled me over too. Thank, thank you. Okay, so... Of course, I am a self-mill deck. But my opponent just scryed two cards to the top. Like, they put both cards on top. I'm going to just mill them for, for two. Drown in the Lock, Midnight Tower. Or Midnight Clock. Drown in the Lock, Midnight Clock. So yeah, it looks like looks like they're trying to mill me, and I'm trying to mill me. So what's gonna happen? We're both trying to mill. 
All right, again, we need more lands. Uh, it's kind of hard getting rid of Jace, even though it's not a land. I mean, it, it's not like the game, it's not like we need to be super fast anyway. It's not like the game's going to end immediately. I'm going to just keep the Jace. It's kind of too hard to get rid of that card. Uh, yeah, probably Sakurasta. That's that's probably it. Like, they, they want the opponent to have seven cards in the in their graveyard. But they have they have specific card yeah, like I don't think they're necessarily only milling kind of thing. Alright, do we draw a land off of this? If so, we can go seeker keeper, seeker keeper. And get back Phoenix. Okay, so we can we can get back Phoenix here, but there's only only one Phoenix over there. Hmm. I'm going to wait a turn. We're going to cast Radical Idea again. At end step, and I'm going to ditch this other Phoenix. I wonder if we can kill our opponent next turn. Like, if they just tap out for something. Ugh, not for that. Never mind. I train Still. Every day. No one is more to meditate and prepare. So they're at 18. I could possibly do 18 damage here. Actually, I probably do 18 damage, actually. What do we got? We all right, we got 35 cards in our library. We're gonna mill a lot of cards. We already have at least seven. All we have to do is find more chills, another phoenix, so that's 10. Oh, yeah. All the secret keepers. These, these all mill eight. Like that's just gonna be the rest of our, our deck. That's 13, that's 16. They're dead. We are doing it. I think they're dead. We got four birds laying eggs. So that's 12, 13. I, need, I have to hit one more creeping chill. I assume there's another creeping chill in the deck. Well, there's, there's two out of the 13. <clears throat> Alright, where's the chill? There's a chill. There's another chill. Alright, we'll just go to combat. Birdies! Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could have. With the mission briefing too, we could just mill. We got to mill over our entire library that turn. <laughs> mill and chill. That's our deck. We're milling and chilling like a villain. I like that we got to mill so hard, even through Narset. Seeker Keeper does help out a lot. A lot against Narset. Okay, so what do we want to do sideboard-wise? Do we want to... Are they going to just be playing a bunch of... Ash, like, we're just doing the same thing that we did last time? Like, maybe against Grixis? Probably, right? Like, they're probably just going to play a whole bunch of Ashiox and Unward Egos and stuff. They're just blue-black control. So 
So just do the same thing. Take out Meba, Chill, and Seeker Keeper. And just go for the mill plan. Mill them. Does Creeping Chill add to the stack of Ashiok Mills? It? Yeah. Um, if... Well, like, if their Ashiok Mills my Creeping Chill... I guess if that's what you're saying. If their... I thought you were talking about my Ashiok. If their Ashiok mills my Creeping Chill, it will get exiled by Ashiok. And so it will not... You will not be able to do the three damage with it. So it, so it does not work. What does this do against Mono Red or overall Super Aggro decks? You just try to race them. You know, you just try to get your... You know, get Phoenixes back and play pretty quickly. Like, we saw there... We, we just killed my opponent on, what was that, turn five? Like, we just milled our entire library. I think that was turn five. Or we had five lands out. Maybe it's turn six. But yeah, you just try to race them. You know, you have, like, like the Narco Amoebas can do a little bit of chump blocking for you. And um, and you have, like, the Creeping Chills, you know, get to do three, gain three. So, you know, you get to gain a little life with the Creeping Chills there also. But yeah, it's it's a race. You're you usually lose. It's not it's not the best matchup for us. But that's the plan. There are so many mystic with thoughtfulness before action. It's not the best plan, but it's the plan. You like the new opt artwork? I don't have, yeah. I don't have the card style for this yet. You got to be a lot farther along the uh, mastery thing for the new card style. So I'm using this opt. Ooh, got rid of a Kefnet. Today I craft my victory. Just kind of slowly setting up here. Wow. They're just taking the seven to draw a card. Wow. Ugh. I wanted that Drown Secrets. That's unfortunate. I wanted that Drown Secrets. All right, well, now we have no way to actually kill our opponent. Well, I guess we have Saheeli. Never mind. We have a way to kill our opponent. Yay! Oh, wow. That was lucky. Welcome back, Drown Secrets. See, that's the that's the good part about our deck, you know, like we we have like that game one plan of get all the arc lights in play and everything and self mill a bunch and and so like the opponent sees that and so then they uh react and that's what they that's what they sideboard for. They um they sideboard for that game you know, that plan of us, you know, putting a bunch of creek you know, arc lights in play and so yeah, they have unmoored ego for arc light and they have all this removal for arc light and all that kind of stuff. But then, we don't actually do that post board. What what our plan is just playing drown secrets and milling them. <laughs> that's our that's our plan post board. Like this is our best the our biggest win con post board is drown secrets on them. Unfortunately, Sahili does not make 
Yeah, you can you can turn your cop you know turn them into other artifacts and creatures, but we cannot turn this into an enchantment, unfortunately. Sahili doesn't interact at all with enchantments. Oh no, Gadwick for two. They they scried both of those cards to the top. Okay. So with Narset in play. I don't get to draw another card here. I think I still play Jace. Maybe not. See this this costs three, this costs three if I if I dispersal. No, I play Jace. I can like radical idea and ditch the discovery during their turn. I don't yeah, because unfortunately with them having two creatures I've got them all figured out. I don't get to attack Narset, which was my plan. So they're down to 19 cards to try to kill me. 18 cards now. And that's 18, but it's about to be 14 once I play this Radical Idea, because that's going to be another four cards. Yeah, so 18 to go. They kept that card on top, huh? No cards in hand. This ensures that I have the extra 1-1 one, one with Sahili. It, it doesn't matter if they counter it. Are they, are they planning on countering it? They really did not need to counter that. Because <laughs> when I drew the card, I was just going to get the card was going to get thought erasured away. Oh, that's that's all we're doing. OSD. Yeah, that, that's all we've been doing is milling our opponent. That's our that's the game plan. So their their life total is at 14 now. Yeah, they're dead. All right, 2-1. Let's keep on playing against blue-black control decks. Because, yeah, we got the game one plan that they, they're not exactly ready for, and then they over-prepare for it, and then we got the game two plan. And we just mill them out. We've done a very good job in these games of drawing Drown Secrets. And our deck looks a lot better when we draw Drown Secrets. Esbeta with the Twitch Prime sub. Hey, thanks for the resub there. Let's get some hype boats in the chat there for our resub. Ugh, no Drown Secrets. And a tap land. <laughs> we don't have a game four plan. 
No, we need to work on our game four plan. All right, playing the Mystic Sanctuary so I can draw Drown Secrets here and play it on turn two. Ugh. I don't like playing against decks that are trying to kill me. I don't like that as much. I don't like that as much at all. All right, I'm going to go Shock Discovery. Keeping one mana spells is, is pretty important. All right, there's Secrets. Now we just need to draw lands. Our hand is, is awesome. All we have to do is hit land drop. So let's draw some lands. <laughs> Thanks, Zala. All right, we drew a land. Okay, good, good. Shepherd of the Flock. Two mana, three one. All right, let's keep on drawing lands. So we're in a tough spot here. I kind of need to cast this opt just to use mana, but if we do, then opt briefing opt. I guess I still have opt briefing opt, so we're okay. Okay. All right, so let's look for land. You're not a land. That was a bad spot to draw Creeping Chill. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to get the Phoenix back this turn. But we're just putting it in the graveyard because it's just too important. Stop milling over the lands. <laughs> I need to mill over spells and draw lands. Deck, you're not you're not cooperating. Last two mills were land land. Well now we're in a lot of trouble. Really need the fourth land because we need five. We need five mana next turn to get Phoenix back, and I don't have five mana for next turn. So we are in a lot of trouble. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just don't hit your land drops. It's magic. Even with all the card draw. It's still not a land. No, so I don't. I don't have a shot now, do I? No. Don't have a shot of drawing of of getting Phoenix back is what I'm saying. I could I could still stay alive if we get really lucky, but I don't have a shot of getting Phoenix back. Let's briefing opt. Okay, well that's probably not us getting very lucky. No, this is not that. Man, I think we win this pretty easily if we hit our first five land drops. You know, if, if we have five mana there, if we had four mana last turn and then five mana the next turn, I think we win that very easily, but we just didn't. I mean, that's that's probably why our hand looks so good is because we didn't have any lands, though. Hmm. I don't think I really need to do anything. I don't need to do anything. I need to draw better. I 
Let's draw better. Okay. It's unfortunate that we put Phoenix back. Land, keeping. Obviously, they could be playing like Knight of Autumn to destroy Crown Secrets, then I'm pretty dead. So we're basically going to be getting, be able to get Phoenixes back like turn five. This next turn, I'm going to be casting. I mean, I, I could this turn. I could go briefing opt opt. I guess I could, maybe I'll just do that. Plan was kind of just to go briefing discovery to help set up for another turn and then go for a big turn after that. Narcomoeba, good blocker. It really doesn't matter what those cards are, you just have to put them in the graveyard because we're going to be milling two again. Phoenix. There's no Phoenix. Not yet, at least. Phoenix? No Phoenix. I have three islands, right? Yeah. So just keep the fifth land for next turn. Alright, so I haven't seen a Phoenix yet. We're going to be able to mill a lot of cards again, though, this next turn. Maybe we'll find Phoenix this next turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure. Uh, what is this? Don't don't play this card. What what's going on here? Okay, that was weird. Phoenix. All right, so we're going to go briefing. For briefing. Over 
some more cards. <laughs> and then for Opt. All right, we finally got one Phoenix. Mm. Discovery is a good card to play. Next turn. All right, they're down to 10. We're down to 26 cards in the library. There's two other Phoenixes, because we put this one down here. I don't think that I don't think that's lethal. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Five, seven, nine, eleven. Okay, so that's eleven. Not dead yet. They got nothing else. Okay, so we have two Phoenix and two Chill left that we need to mill over. There's 24 cards, and we got two Phoenix, two Chill. So let's see how we do. We need Phoenix and Chill. Red and black. We need to look for red and black cards. No, that's just a whole bunch of lands. Well, that did not go well to start with. Get out of here. I don't want to draw an Archimiba. Well, this couldn't really go worse. O for the first nine cards. Ten cards, because we put the one down on the bottom. O for ten. All right, there's one Phoenix. Ugh, not enough, though. Not enough. We needed one more Phoenix or Chill. Might as well look at what the next card was. Ah, uh, Mission Briefing would have been great. Ugh. We we're so close. We only hit four total, four out of eight of the Phoenix and Chills in the top 44 cards. Of course, one Phoenix we know we put to the bottom, so that, that one was actually the other way, 46. So we saw 46 cards. We had to hit five of the eight. But we knew one was going to be at the bottom, so really we had to hit five of the seven and 46 cards, but we only hit four of the seven. Yeah, I didn't even mill a Netflix over there. So that's close. So like that's that's what our deck needs to do against uh, aggro decks. You know, like we have to be a little bit luckier. Um, you know, milling over Phoenix and and just racing kind of thing. Uh, you know, we got the Narc Amoebas to do a little bit of chump blocking for us. The, the Chills gained a little bit of life and dealt some damage. But, you know, our first Phoenix was over halfway through the deck, or was almost halfway through the deck. It was like 25 cards down was our first Phoenix. Um, and then, you know, we didn't get our second Phoenix until, you know, about 17 cards left. So, um yeah, yeah, putting the Phoenix down to the bottom is is a difficult choice, but it just it kind of kind of have to do it. Um I'd have to but so uh about the deck, I really liked how Secret Keeper played. I think this was a really nice addition to the deck. Um and you know, you get opt back, so like we we really didn't lose any power from this deck from before. And with standard overall being a little bit lower power level, like this, I can definitely see how 
you know, getting some good wins with this deck. You know, both both of our losses, we got really unlucky with with Phoenix being down at the bottom. Like that's just kind of how it is. Um, <clears throat> but I'd have to say that the mana base left something to be desired. These Mystic Sanctuaries were pretty bad. Just having tap lands, like shocking in our deck is kind of rough. In general, I think I would rather have like two of those sanctuaries and maybe just three watery grave of course we don't watery grave is just for casting creeping chill which comes up but we don't want to do that too often but that that definitely comes up Maybe just one Fable Passage. I don't want a lot of Fable Passages because, again, early on, they're just tap lands also. But, like, turn... <clears throat> we can kind of save... Maybe, like, two. We can kind of save the Fable Passages because this deck... Like, you have to... As we saw, like, some of those games, like, you know, we lost that other game because we couldn't hit land drops. Like, we really need, like, five, six lands in this deck. We want to hit our first five or six land drops because... We want to be able to double spell. You know, even at six mana, you get to play three of these spells. You know, you can go like mission briefing and and mis into mission briefing into discovery, kind of thing. Our deck helps us hit land drops because we have like the card draw with opt radical idea and discovery. Um, so we so it's not too difficult to hit five or six lands, but we really want those. And like those five and six lands, we don't really want to be shocking for them. You know, like it's we don't want to shock for the the land so fable passage could be like a good turn four turn five land where we're not shocking for that of course taking out two sanctuary for two fable passage doesn't really help my the lands enter in earlier is this sanctuary even necessary i mean it it's good if you have like nothing in hand it's not good when you have stuff in hand because you're just like if you have drown secrets in play because you're just milling over all those cards like is it even worth a two of yeah it's probably worth a two of because like there's gonna be a time like where you you don't really have anything in hand like you put mission briefing back on top after your turn and so then you get to untap with mission briefing because this card is so critical because this mission briefing is is basically worth three cards when you have the mana because you can as you saw like there because uh, you can briefing another briefing in the graveyard and, and each of those mill over four cards when you have drowned secrets because you just you know you just surveil two just means mill two and so um it's really valuable no 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 this deck is not a scry castle deck at all you can't you can't we can't use our mana on scrying with this um we have four narc amoebas in the deck Yeah, that's that's exactly what Sanctuary is for is for briefing, but I, I don't think that's that's worth it for four copies. Um, but of course our deck, like we are trying to self mill, obviously. And um and so like the the more spells we're putting into the graveyard, the better. So Fable Passage getting a land out of the deck honestly makes it a difference with this kind of deck. So I, I like having a couple Fable Passages, plus with having Temple Scry and Op Scry, we, we're scrying Narc Amoebas, Phoenixes, and Creeping Chills to the bottom because we don't want to draw them anyway. So like those are those are constantly the cards that we're putting down to the bottom. And so being able to reshuffle those before, um, before self-milling is also valuable as well. I could maybe see playing a third Fable Passage instead of the seventh island. I'm not sure, though. Islands are, are very valuable because they don't deal damage to you. Like The islands are very valuable. But okay, I, I liked our sideboard plan. I like having Ashiok Sahili. Like Sahili looked nice against those control decks. I liked our sideboard plan. Um, you know, bring in everything except for Unsummon, cut Seeker Keeper, Narc Amoeba, and Creeping Chill. Like cut those 12. Like just a, a straight 12 for 12 swap there and turn into a mill deck. I think that's a, a good sideboard plan. So I liked that. Yeah, Pedro was. <clears throat> but okay, so so there we go. You know, we'll continue to play this deck in the future. You know, a couple of little changes there to the mana base. I, I like those. Um, and you don't understand the Mystic Sanctuary. So it's okay in the late game. Mission briefing is 
a very, very valuable card to have in the late game when you have five and six mana, because mission briefing itself is can be two, three, four cards, depending on how much mana you have. Um, and so you want to have Sanctuary put mission briefing back on top. After you play your stuff, after you get done with your turn, you play your Sanctuary, you put this back on top, and then to your next draw step, you get to draw briefing, and so on. Okay, so there we go. So that's Arc Light Dredge. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also please leave some comments um, as well. Let me know what you think of the deck and everything like that. Um, and if you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. If you're uh, having some fun here with our Dredge deck. But that's it here for the, this video. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.